I'm Kurt, welcome to Nomad School of Adventure. Today we're talking about clothing for beginner kayakers. Okay, so today we're talking about clothing for beginners and uh, a brief uh, overview, summary of how to layer your clothes and what clothes to buy. Again, for beginner kayakers, so you don't need any you know, technical um, equipment, you don't need to spend a fortune. The whole idea of this video is to keep your expenditure down, so we don't want to be spending lots of money on specialist stuff. A lot of the stuff you're already going to have in your closet, okay? So in essence, the system is very, system, very simple. You layer your clothes. It's not rocket science, folks. Just layer your clothes. That means multiple different layers of clothing, one on top of the other simple okay so for example what i'm wearing today i've got an outer shell jacket to keep the rain not that it's going to rain today keep the wind off me then i've got our hoodie on which is designed to keep some warmth okay then i've got um an, a, a a wind shell and i've got my base layer which uh, happens to be merino all right underneath here i've got base layer pants um uh, base layer uh, merino and then my trousers straight over the top. That's layering, very, very simple, okay? So, how do you layer for kayaking? The first rule, particularly as a beginner, where you wanna keep your cost down. First rule they always remember is dress for the water, okay? It's a very simple rule, but what that means is that even though uh, it might be a nice hot summer's day, um, the water, I mean, it might be 25 degrees, uh, here, certainly here in the United Kingdom, it might be 25 degrees ambient temperature, you know, there's just the normal uh, surrounding temperature, but the water could be 8 or 9 degrees Celsius, particularly right at the beginning of the season, okay? So dress for the water. In other words, if you fall in the water, make sure you are appropriately dressed for those um, conditions, i.e. the cold, all right? That's the first rule. So how do we do that? Well, basically, you go for a base layer. Now, um, you can get all sorts of fancy base layers, very expensive stuff. We've already done... A review on the armadillo base layer and um, uh, that's very very expensive but very very good quality and you can buy merino or any wool base layer but you can also just go to one of the outdoor stores or go online and you can simply buy yourself um, any base layer the higher the wool content the better okay um, so any base layer whether this is a one-piece suit you can buy a two-piece uh, you can buy any material like some of the cheaper stuff gets a bit scratchy um, and you get some sort of contact points sometimes, but that's what happens when you buy cheap. If you buy uh, more expensive, um, then you get better quality. So buy a base layer, either one-piece suit or two-piece suit, whatever works for you. Very, very simple. Over the top of that, you don't need to go out and spend 150 pounds on big pants, padding pants. You don't need to go and spend, you know, another 150, 200 pounds on a Kegel top like this specialist stuff all you got to do is just get something get another layer on and you can use something like this this is a cheap rain jacket it costs about five or six quid you can get these from places like decathlon you can buy them online little um uh was it little that did the aldi oh uh, sorry aldi again not promoting these places but just telling you aldi did a base layer system for just over 30 pounds and that was merino wool uh, and you can buy these things really really cheap from any of those stores, okay, for like five, six pounds, and this is just a, a canvas jacket. Now, this is not technical stuff, it doesn't breathe, but then frankly, nor does the 150, 200 pound stuff breathe, it doesn't breathe. So, you just take something like this, and you put it straight over your base layer, okay? Now, how many layers you want to do, you want to use, is entirely up to you. It, it's really based on how your body works. So, if your body, if you run cold, you use more layers, all right? If you run warm, uh, then you use less layers. Some people will wear less, more layers uh, uh, on their legs, less on their body, or vice versa. Some people will just wear one layer and they'll wear three pairs of socks. It's down to the individual, all right? So I can't advise you on that. You wear as many layers as you see fit that works for you. So you can buy a cheap top like this. Um, there are all sorts of nylon wind tops that you can buy. This is, happens to be an Arctis, um, and uh, they tend to be pretty good for uh, rain weather as well. Okay, so your wind shell, these are the pants, these are a cheap pair of rain pants, this 
happens to be mountain warehouse, not that that's really relevant. Little pockets down, uh, down the sides there, they go all the way through, so you can pull these over your uh, your thermals, whatever. Um, and again, then you can just use a rain top, a cheap rain top, to match with your rain pants. Just remember, this stuff gets warm because it's not breathable, okay? But it will keep the wind out, and that's very important. And also keep the um, the rain out as well, all right? So cheap rain canvas rain top, cheap pair of can canvas um, rain pants, all right? And then you go out and you get yourself a beanie. Most people in reasonably cold countries like the United Kingdom and Europe have got some level of beanie. This happens to be sealskins. It's a well-known brand. Um, they tend to be well known for their waterproofness. You don't need anything as fancy as this. Any old beanie will do. You can use something like this. You can use something like <laughs> oh. that. Okay, I'm not going to put it back on it, so bear with me. Whoop, so there we go. Can you see? There we go. Now you can see. <laughs> All right, so she's got it back on. So any beanie would do, or even a baseball cap like this. It's whatever suits you, okay? Um, I know when I'm out, sometimes I'll have two or three caps. Usually it's a baseball cap, but if I'm not sure and the weather looks like it might change, I'll take a baseball cap when it's sunny like this, and then after when the sun uh, disappears, the clouds come in, I'll have a beanie as a backup, okay? Socks, again, woolen socks. So wool is a very, very good bit of kit because with all of these systems, these clothing systems, you're gonna get wet. Kayaking is a wet sport, you can't stay dry. Even if you're inside a deck kayak, where you're sitting inside of the spray deck on, you will get wet. To some extent, you're gonna get wet. And when you get wet, wool is fantastic because wool keeps you warm, even when it's wet. So if you buy socks, these are just hiking socks, they're nothing specialist, they're just a pair of hiking socks, but they're good hiking socks. They tend to be, this happens to be uh, Summit, whatever that is, Summit FXR, um, but they are, uh, they have a, a merino wool content or a wool content, and the more wool you've got in, in these socks, the better. Again, layer your socks according to your needs. If you've got to wear three pairs because your feet get cold, then wear three pairs, but remember, if you're going to wear three pairs of socks, you want a couple of those pairs to be a little bit thinner because your feet are going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and, if, and, and your two feet are different sizes. So my left foot is a 10, my right foot is a 9.5, go figure, okay? I'm all a little bit messed up, okay? But um, so you'll have, you know, a, 10, a size 10 left foot means three pairs of thick socks, I'm going to have a, a, probably a 10.5, 10 and, a half, 10 and three quarters. So when you get your shoes, Get a size 11 so always get a size bigger than what you need for your shoes to accommodate your socks okay so that's your socks um, and then shoes anything pretty much except for trainers trainers will get your feet cold you can go out and you can buy yourself neoprene booties they are all over the uh, internet you can get them at decathlon you can get them at go outdoors you can get them at loads of places and you go and, and they they're sort of seven to ten pounds they they dirt cheap okay or you can buy something like this. I got these that go outdoors. I think I got them on a special 50 quid reduced from 100 pounds or 90 pounds or something like that. And they are just Salomon. I think they're fell running shoes. The beauty of them though is they've got this web uh, mesh here and they've got space down the side so they can operate as wet boots. Um, and they're perfect. You can wear these in winter if you've got socks and your feet are nice and warm, these are fine and they're perfect for summertime with no socks on, you just put them on to protect your feet and they're really, really good if you want to spend a little bit more but if you want to go cheap, which is what I'd advise when you're starting just stick to neoprene booty um, and you can get something, you know, just a, a, a small booty or you can get something that goes up the ankle not that it's going to give you any ankle support or anything like that and that's, that's fine, that's all you need final thing is, and I, I didn't bring any, I have to apologise um, and that's gloves, okay don't buy gloves. Just take my word on it. You're going to have to trust me on this. And uh, you know, if I'm lying to you, you can come and find me and you can sort me out. But don't wear gloves. And the reason for not wearing gloves, you're going to have problems with, with dexterity. Pulling your spray deck off, uh, working with lime, uh, just dealing with stuff, zipping, unzipping things, and, uh, and it doesn't really work. What you want is a set of pogies. It's spelled P-O-G-I-E-S, pogies. And what they are is they are a little neoprene glove that fits over your um, the shaft of your paddle. If you type in sea kayak or kayaking pogies on a, a internet search, they'll come up everywhere, and you're probably paying about seven to ten pounds.
for a short pair. You get them very long, you get them mid-length, and you get them short. Always get the, the short because it's easier to get your hands in, okay? And that way you can put your hands in and out on your paddle shaft. You're not having to take them off and worry about getting, losing them. They're on your paddle shaft and um, you can put your hands in, you can paddle, and if you need to take them out, you can take your hands out. And they work really, really well. I was coaching a couple on Saturday, uh, just a few days ago, and the gentleman, he was ill last year, he lost 20 kilos of weight, so that had an effect on him physically. He was warm, totally warm, but his hands were freezing to the point they were absolutely, he was in pain and he, and he just couldn't use them. And he had gloves, and he had a pair of barber gloves of all things, okay, <laughs> nothing wrong against barber, just saying. Uh, and we took him off him, and I took my pogies off, and I put the pogies on him, and he was warm within about three minutes. That was it, and he was warm the rest of the day. I froze, but he was fine. Um, so that's what we do as, uh, as coaches and as Second guides. Rule. Okay. Number two is very simple. Avoid all cotton and denim clothing. Anything that's got cotton in it or anything that's got denim in it, avoid it. And that's because these materials um, get wet and they're very, very difficult to dry. They take a long time to dry. They get very heavy when they're wet and they get very, very cold. So avoid all cotton and all denim. Very simple rule, all right? Um, the materials you want are things like nylon, polyester, lycras, that sort of stuff, okay? Polyester is breathable. Uh, I believe nylons aren't, I stand to be corrected. I'm not expert at materials, but there's all sorts of various different materials out there nowadays. The, the technology is pretty good, and some of the stuff is breathable, some of it doesn't. Remember, there's no such thing as waterproof and breathable doesn't exist because if water is kept out then how is air going to get through okay now somebody will come up and say well you know Gore-Tex this and that one this and blah 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 you know we're not trying to be too technical about this At the end of the day there are limitations as to how much clothes will breathe if you sweat a lot like me you're going to get wet to some extent um, and you know if you're trying to keep dry there are limitations as to how dry you can stay I'm just putting that caveat out there all right, and uh, so have a look through your, if you're gonna look through your closet at what you've got, because a lot of people uh, will already have a lot of the stuff. If you're a cyclist, if you're a mountain biker, if you're a runner, if you go to the gym and have a little workout a couple of times a week, you're probably gonna have a lot of the stuff, all right? So think about your running tights, and your longs, and your gym shirts, things like Under Armour, etc., etc. A lot of that material is already there. One little tip is you can buy these things. The surfers use them. It's basically a robe, okay? Um, I'm a bit dressed up because it's cold, but I'll just show you what it looks like. Short sleeve, and it's toweling cloth. So quite thick, I like. <laughs> there we go, I'm here. And it's got a hood on it, and it's short sleeve, but it's like a dress, okay? And you use these to change them, and they're brilliant. They are freaking expensive. You go to a surf shop, um, what does that say? Sea skins wetsuits. Sea skins, so that's that's going to be expensive. That was an expensive brand. I probably got it on and off in a surf shop. Do I look like a twit now? With my hood up, okay. No. I still look like a twit. Never. Anyway, so um, <laughs> with this on, you know, now I can get undressed here. I can unbuckle my pants, pull my pants down, get naked in a public, pl well, not a public place, but on a beach, in a car park, <laughs> whatever. You're going to be doing a lot of that. You're going to be doing a lot of what we call beach changes because it's not always changing facilities so you're at your car and you quickly look around nobody's around and you quickly get changed okay and these are fantastic what i'd recommend is don't go and buy one just get the old um, wife girlfriend uh punani uh to get um buy this material any material but anything that's nice and soft and i think this is toweling cloth right this is toweling yep. and just make it up it's just a really simple template you stitch it up put a hood on it or put a neck on it. A hood is really nice when it's cold just to give you a bit of protection like that and um, and you can get changed in there and that'll cost you you know you can take old bath towels nice old bath towels and you can make yourself one of these okay or the wife can or girlfriend or whatever partner can make you one of these uh, and but it's highly recommended all right so um, that's it um, if you've got any questions put them in the comments below please put a thumbs up um, and if you think it's crap Put a thumbs down but back it up um, but um, any feedback or comments questions just put them in there and we'll get to them as soon as we can 
uh, feel free to contact us as well if you've got any questions or you just want some advice we're happy to give you advice there's no obligation you don't have to, have to buy anything you don't have to book anything just uh, give us a ring the numbers on the website nomadseakayaking.co.uk or .com whatever it all goes to the same place and then we'll be happy to sit there and then give you all the advice that you want and we can run through all of this as well we can give you a list of retailers and so forth okay so uh, don't waste your money have a look at this think carefully about what you want to buy and keep it simple all right just keep it simple it's not rocket science give us a ring if you want some advice give us a thumbs up and uh, we will see you on the water soon no matter out Welcome to Nomad's uh, fuck shit wing fuck. <laughs>